Pippi's Lesson, written and illustrated by Caitlin Hobbs. It was a lovely autumn day. The leaves were whistling and the trees looked like golden yellow and red apples. It was a wonderful day for Pippi Hart to go to dance. She has taken dance for a million years, yet she still gets as excited as a kid on Christmas morning to learn something new. She arrived at dance more eager than ever. Pippi headed into class and started stretching while she waited on her teacher. Pippi's teacher, Miss Melvy, walked into class. Good afternoon, class. Let's begin with bar work to warm up, said Miss Melvy. Pippi took her spot at the end of the bar. As everyone did the warm-up, Miss Melvy noticed that several girls were not trying their best. Girls, if you do not try during warm-ups, then you will never try when we learn our recital dance. You will never be a graceful swan gliding across the stage unless you try your best, said Miss Melvy. We will try harder, Miss Melvy, said the class. As the class continued on, several of the girls began jibing at each other. One girl said, I'm better than you. Another responded with, I'm better than anyone in here. Pippi quietly continued on, wanting to improve and be the best she could be, instead of being affiliated in this quandary. Mumbles and chatter filled the room. Miss Melby was completely outraged at the comparing and bickering going on. She desperately needed to address the predicament. Girls, there is absolutely no need to compare yourselves. Each one of you has a strength and weakness. The only person you can compare yourself to is the better version of you. All of the girls listened and really took to heart what Miss Melvy had told them. We give our sincere apologies for the animosity we created between us, said the girls. Class ended and the girls left. Pippi went home and thought more about what her teacher had said. That night, Pippi strived to improve her technique. She wanted to be better, and the only way she could do that 
was to try her best and be better than she already was. About the author, Caitlin Hobbs is a sophomore at Fayetteville High School. She has been dancing since the age of 18 months. This story was based upon her dance teacher, Miss Melvie Myrick, and what she has taught Caitlin.